Hi, I'm Phil and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now as you can see, Triumph have kindly loaned me another bike. It's a Scrambler 1200 XC. Now the timing couldn't have been any better. So I'm actually staying with my sister for a few days. And I'm really excited to go exploring around her neck of the woods and discover new roads and new locations. So stay tuned and let's go exploring on the Scrambler 1200 XC. Now this isn't the first time I've actually ridden a Triumph Scrambler. I actually did a little demo ride with my friends from Triumph Essex. I just took this bike out for about 30 minutes or so and absolutely love this bike. Now also, back in June, my friend AJ, the honest biker, she kindly got me a ticket for the AVR festival for my birthday, which was really kind of her. Now Triumph were there with the Triumph off-road adventure. Hi guys, so I'm at AVR festival, it's June. Now, in this video you see I've got the Triumph Scrambler XC. Now today, I've just had the opportunity to take a Triumph Scrambler XE out on the course. They've got the adventure experience with Triumph and they've just given me a taster. It's been about an hour or so, I've literally just come off, I'm a bucket of sweat. But the tuition is incredible, it was really good. So we did um, some turnings, some slalom, went across some scaffold planks, learning to steer the bike, did some little jumps, even stalked the bike on the hill and learned to turn it around, and other things as well. And the tuition was absolutely brilliant. I didn't drop the bike, yay! And I learned so much. So uh, yeah, now I'm really excited to get the bike, which you're looking at now. So thanks Try for a brilliant time today. I learned so much in that hour, it was unbelievable. So I would really highly recommend you guys get yourself signed up for the Triumph off-road experience. So not only am I going to go exploring locally, but I'm also going to take this bike out for a couple of long days. So I'm really excited to see how this bike behaves on the motorway, local roads and through a few twisties as well. So let's get on with it shall we?
okay so uh i parked up at this lock as you can see just really to um unwind relax a little bit got a few days off stinking headache today absolutely stinking kind of brain foggy headache so just out riding locally trying to clear my head and uh, was at this lock this morning just for a little walk from uh, wife, mum and sister. So I'll come back here, bring the bike and as you can see these guys are now trying to level up the water. I'm not sure if they know what they're doing actually. So it's quite fun. But yeah, just entertaining and just, just relaxing, just sitting by the log, watching the world go by. And a number of people have stopped to look at the bike and like Oh, lovely bike mate. Uh, I've only had it about an hour and a half. It's been trying. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, see what goes on here now. chances of the first canal boat that comes along is actually the right colour scheme for this bike. What are the chances of that? Happens to me wherever I go. I am the colour coordination guru. I spent the next few days pottering around locally on the scrambler and having a great time. But one thing I really wanted to do was have a big day out and create a mini adventure. So off I went, heading west to make my way to Cheddar Gorge.
Now, just as I started creating some content, Oda, who was visiting England for the Netherlands, kindly offered to help and capture some video of me. I do like the Dutch. They're very matter of fact, but always happy to help. All right, guys, so I've made it to Cheddar Gorge. We wanted to come back here for so long. Had a little bit of rain on the way here, but look at the weather now, it's blazing hot. Taking my bag off, my GoPro off. Just parked up here, I'm not sure if I'm meant to park here. But yeah, I'm gonna try and get some photos and have a good look around. The roads are amazing, you must come here. Look at this. I'm moving my bike around just to try and get different shots, different clips for the channel and for Instagram as well. Obviously this is quite a busy road, it's only 30 miles an hour. But as you see my, my GoPro footage, it's really twisted, really nice. But I just plodded along, took my time. I mean you just, you don't want to whiz through here do you? You're going to miss everything that's around you. And that's why I've come here. It's just absolutely stunning and I remember when I was 21 sitting on one of those rocks up there it's, i came here i came here with my girlfriend who's now my wife on our first holiday on a camping holiday to cheddar and all around this area and there's a photo of me which i must try and find sitting on one of these rocks i'm sure it's this area here but this bike was amazing coming here on this it's uh so talky really really nice Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some more roads. So I've just come out of that cave up there. <laughs> that was a bit of fun. Yeah, I was chatting to the people as they came out from New Zealand. One of them's got an AGS 55 single AGS, he said. And uh, said he wished he had a bike on these roads. Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few bikers going past. Um, I found a shady spot now because I am melting in the heat. So, UK, we jump from one extreme to the other. And here I am talking about the weather yet again. Welcome to the Adventures of the Weather Channel with Phil Jones. <laughs> guys you know me I kind of do my own thing walk around and then meet people and I've met this really lovely biker I'm going to introduce you to Astrid yes. hi so it's a little bit windy so hopefully the 
the uh, microphone would pick up our voices. So I was walking down Cheddar Gorge, down the high street, and I saw you walking along with your crash helmet, without gear on. No gear. <laughs> and as bikers, we just started a conversation, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Very nice. And uh, had a little walk. I told you about the Triumph. Come and had a little look at the Triumph Scrambler. Then we needed to cool down, me especially. I had an ice cream. And now we've just been doing a few photos, haven't we? Yeah. It's always good to cause trouble, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Amazing okay. bike you have. Uh, uh, very nice. Love it. And what do you think of Cheddar Gorge? Oh, it's very beautiful. And I love the turns here. Yeah, the road, really fun. Perfect for bikes. So you've been up and down a few times now, haven't you? Yeah, a few times. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. At least three, four. <laughs> um, scenery. So you've been, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing with your travels. Uh, well, I've been traveling for like four weeks now. Four weeks? Four weeks in uh, England, going like a lot of cities, doing Oxford, Bristol. Let's see what else have I do. Yeah, now Shadagor. Yeah. And doing a lot of cities around here. Amazing. I've been there for like four weeks and this is like the second year I come to England to travel. So last year I did yeah, all the UK, up in Scotland, Wales, England. Oh wow, Yeah. amazing. A lot of driving. And obviously I noticed you are wearing the Dainese gear. I am, I am my favourite. Yeah, black and white is my, is my favourite colour scheme. <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm being honest as always, people know I like my Ducatis. <laughs> And this is a Ducati Monster. Yes, is it, it is. Yeah, 821, did you say? No. No? 696. 696. It's a bit smaller, but the size you can't yeah. Cool, yeah, it's really, really nice. And you like to kind of ride, you like to get them dirty. Yeah, I need to use it. Yeah. I really like it. But you were telling me, I'm not sure if I mentioned this just now, but you originally, well, you are from Norway, aren't you? And obviously I was showing you the Triumph Scrambler yeah. and you were telling me that uh, the Triumph brand isn't that well known in Norway or they're, not, they're hard to come by. Well, we know it, but I wouldn't say it's the most common one. No, it isn't. So, but I've seen them, but it's not, no, it's not as common as I think it is in the UK. Yeah. yeah. And you really like the look of the Scrambler, didn't you? Very nice, old fashioned one. Yeah. So, I do like my sports bike. So yeah, I have of course. To be a bit biased there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it's okay to like several styles of bikes, yeah. which is all cool. But yeah, no. Well, thank you so much for um, talking to me, yeah, and it's an absolute you. pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Try not to get that lady in the background. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to sit and have a little chat for a little bit longer, and then uh, we've taken a few photos. <laughs> and I and as I said just now, you've got the old Michelin Road Fives on the back of your bike there. Yeah. Uh, look, <laughs> look at that. You know what they say, guys, about chicken strips. So there's not much in the way of chicken strips there. <laughs> but yeah, loves that tire. Anyway, absolute pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Thank you. <too. laughs> so after spending a bit more time relaxing and taking in this amazing scenery. I decided to ride along the gorge a couple more times before heading off to see my friend Becca just for a little while before heading back home.
Hi there guys. So I've had this bike now for about a week and a half. I've done about 600 miles on it. And what do I think of this bike? I absolutely love it. It's amazing. It's got so much character. Would I own one? Absolutely. Let me tell you a few of my thoughts and observations on this bike. So first off, the exhaust. It looks so stylish, it looks so nice. I know some people change the exhaust, but for me, this has got a quite a nice sound. It's got a really nice sound, actually. It reminds me a little bit of an old chuggy boat. I don't mean that to be rude to anyone who owns the Scrambler. It's got that little burble sound, especially when you back off the throttle. It's got that little burble. The exhaust, now I expected my legs to get really warm in this area here. It's got a heat shield there and along here. Yes, you feel the heat. Is it unbearable? No. Is it uncomfortable? No, not really. We've had a few hot days um, and it's been fine. And in the evening, when the temperature starts to go down, it warms you up quite nicely because it hasn't got a heated seat. It has got heated grips with, I think, four settings and they work really, really well. Like the red, the extra, like the super hot setting, you can really feel it, especially in the summer after an evening's ride. That's really cool. The TFT, I absolutely love the TFT. I had it on, I think it was chrono mode to start with for quite some time, and I changed it to quartz. And I love the old analog feel to that. And when the light starts to dip and the colors change automatically, I love that look. Now I really wish that Triumph would uh, kind of give you more options with TFTs. For me, out of all the Triumph bikes that I've ridden, this is my favorite TFT. So that's high praise, isn't it? Uh, mirrors work well. Um, they're not the prettiest of mirrors, if I'm honest, but they work perfectly and they're pretty sturdy if the bike was to go over. You could put um, little bar end mirrors on there. If the bike was to go over, they'd probably smash. So you have to choose, don't you really? Handguards, I think I would fit handguards on this model. If you bought the XE model, you find that that bike is higher. This seat height is 840 millimeters. Um, I'm not sure what the XE is, but I think it's, uh, I know it is higher. And I find this a really nice height for me. Let me actually have a little sit on this and show you. So, for me, my feet are flat on the floor now. As you can see, if the road, if you've got a camber in the road or um, uneven surface, I can still get my foot down pretty flat. If it was on the XC, I'd be more on tiptoes. And as I said, I have ridden the XC and that has been the case. So for me, this is super. I really like the, like the seat height on this. I love the riding position. Um, engine, so it's got the parallel twin engine. It's great, really love it. When you apply power, pull back that throttle, it's not like my Speed Triple, and it's certainly not like that Speed Triple 1200 RS I had recently. You yank that back and wind it up. You feel the bike fly. This isn't slow, but it doesn't pull your arms out of the socket. It hasn't got that power and speed of the speed, speed triple. But it's not slow, no problems overtaking. You've got that chuggy feel to the engine and it's just nice. Now there, for me, there is a little downside to that on the motorways. If you're stuck on the motorway, and you, I did an hour and a half or so on the motorway, you kind of feel it a little bit. You've got that little vibration. It's not a big vibration, but you feel it. You can feel it in your palms of your hand. When I went to Cheddar Gorge, I did about an hour and a half all around the country lanes, through the Salisbury Plains and all around the back into Somerset. And on the twisties, you don't feel it at all. It's only when you're on the motorway. I mean, yes, you do feel it. You do feel that little shake in the bike, but it's nice and it's fun and it's character. And it's old school as well. That's what I like about this bike, actually. Obviously, it's the 1200 Bonneville, part of the Bonneville family. Now, my friend AJ, as you know, as you may know, I'm not quite sure we're going to drop that in at the moment, 
But AJ and I, we both arranged with Triumph at the same time for me to get this bike and for her to get the Speed Twin, which used to be the Street Twin. And that's a Bonneville 900. And the similarities in looks are, uh, you can see it's in this, from the same family. The, the indicators on here are bigger. I like the little stylish mirrors on the, on the Speed Twin. Um, but overall, you can see the way, the styling of the engine, they sit as part of the Bonneville family. So it's got that old school Triumph feel to it, which I really like. So yeah, brakes, um, got the double discs on the front with Brembo's. We love the Brembo's. They might get a bit squeaky from time to time, but hey ho. Um, stopping power is amazing. Squeeze them on, no harsh braking. They just really do the job. Really, really do the, do the job. I popped into London today on my Speed Triple 1050S. I haven't ridden that for a little while because I had the 1200RS Speed Triple. Boy, did that feel like I had a sporty riding position. I was so used to that bike. I jumped on it today for the first time and it really felt sporty. Certainly because I've been on this for a week and a half and, and making the most of it. So yeah, this upright position is really, really nice. I'm not able to take pillions on this bike, part of the insurance, but I've had to sign the policy with Triumph it doesn't allow me to take pillions, which is a shame. But uh, it's a smooth ride. You can adjust the suspension, front and rear, show the fronts, Olin's rear. It's just nice styling. I think I would raise that mud guard. I think as always, I would want to personalize the bike. Lift that mud guard up, but a few people do and that would really look scrambler. The colour, I love the colour. I love this stainless steel strip down the middle. But should the colour have more earth tones to it? So this red, a lot of people have commented on the red. They like just pass us by, love the colour. And I love the colour. As I say, should it be more kind of earthy greens or browns, possibly? Depends on your style of riding, I guess. Tires, uh, yeah, it's got tires on it, and they do a great job. So they're the Metzler um, Torrens tires, I believe. I haven't ridden this bike off-road on those tires. I did a few green lanes, a little bit in <laughs> AJ and I, sorry for laughing. So I had a photo shoot with AJ last night. I had a really late night last night. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some photos I've actually can show you. But uh, we met someone and he said, you've got to find this viaduct. We could not find where he meant. We ended up going all around these country lanes, across gravel, downhill, uphill. And I'm like, I'm sta standing up on the bike, leaning into it. And poor old AJ, she's on street tyres, street tyres on this uh, speed twin. And she's like, well, yeah, it's all right for you. Of course, because we've got Ocados who are chatting away, giving uh, advice and warnings of what's coming up. But yeah, this was really, this was really good fun. Was not, wasn't it kind of not fully off-road, but more off-road than I would take my speed triple. So yeah, just a few thoughts on this bike really. As always, you need to get on this bike. You need to test ride this bike and decide what one you would like, whether it be the XC or the XC that I have here. Oh yeah, one, one more thought actually I wanted to share with you guys. Depending on the type of riding that you do or you want to do, should you get this bike or should you get the Tiger 900 GT Pro or Rally Pro? That's a question you've got to ask yourself. For me, Riding the Tiger 900 in January, December and January, clocking up a thousand miles on it, I loved it. This bike has got a lot more character than the Tiger. But the Tiger, I think was smoother. You had the heated seats, you had the shield. So if you're gonna do more riding in the colder temperatures or ride further, abroad maybe, consider the Tiger. If you want something with a lot of character and have a lot of fun on, I think this is this could be the bike. This could be the bike. Anyway, as always guys, thanks so much for watching. 
I haven't finished with this bike yet. AJ and I, and a load of other people, are off to Women in Moto uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. And it's for the weekend, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, you're probably watching in the future now, so that would have been, been and gone. I'm actually working now. I'm actually uh, the official photographer, which is great fun, because I want to catch up a little bit with a lot of my friends. I'm not going to have a lot of time to talk to them, but I'm sure I will find some time. So yeah, go go check out Women in Moto. Actually, I'm going to stick a little uh, their, their Instagram username down there. Go check them out. Go show them a load of support, please. Lindsay is an awesome person who's organised that. She, it's, it's her own project. Go and show some support. Anyway, that's me done for now. Thanks as always for watching. Please leave a comment. If you like this video, give a like. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. And all of you, please hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next video. And I look forward to seeing you guys all very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Subscribe, like and comment.